right then, part two of his cheap flight adventure to Warsaw in Poland. And I'll now go to the next building, which is a tall tower with comb destination dispatch lifts. and along to the next tall tower, which is Novotel. This is some 3.5 meter a second Otis lifts. And now I go along to the next posh hotel, which has some glass fist and crap lifts. These lifts are very posh. They go two meters a second, have full intelligent leveling, and you have to have a key card to use them. But I've got a setup where one lift recalls to the upper floors, and using this feature, I managed to ride these lifts. And now I go along to my hotel. And in Poland, I stayed some really epic, good value for money hotels. Now this hotel was, well, it was good. There's nothing wrong with it. It was good value for money, but it wasn't as good value for money as I've come to expect in Poland. Now to a metro station, Otis Europa. And I'll now go to a 1980s Otis. Mm -hmm. 
Let's get on top it. And now go along to a nice fishing crop lift. Let's get on top it. And now I go to a shopping centre, which is the shopping centre right in the middle of Warsaw, Zloty Tarasi. I hope I pronounced that correct. This has some eco discs. Second floor. And now go along to the next tower, which is a posh hotel. I wonder what lifts this will have. This hotel is very posh and it's on the upper floors of this tower. So hopefully something really fast. Nope, it's got Otis Gen 2's 1.6 meter a second, which are horrible, stupid, pathetic, slow lifts for this tall tower. Otis, oh fucking hell. Gen 2, 28 floors, oh fuck this. This tower looks so good as well. I went always to this tower because it looks so epic. And what do I get? A Gen 2. Fucking hell. up in this hotel along to the service lifts and using the service lifts I managed to get down to the lower office floors which means I defeated their security as I got past the security barriers. and along to the office lifts, which are just boring Gen 2s. And now I go along to the Samsung Tower. This tower is so epic looking. It's so modern and futuristic and looks so awesome. But it's also very secure with security barriers to get to the lifts. There's no way I can get into this tower. Or can I? So let's go and defeat their security. First I go along to some lifts that are not behind the barriers. These just go up to like a gym and a restaurant. These are some really nice shinder lifts with destination dispatch and look very posh. Car. One. Car. And from the restaurant level, I managed to get round the back of the restaurant along to the service lift. And all the floors are locked, but someone else in the lift just used an RFID card to get in it. I managed to get up to one of the upper floors, defeating their security. So 
were then a lark or two for main lifts in this tower, but sadly I didn't go high enough and I didn't get into the tallest lifts that go right to the top. The lifts I managed to get to are the ones that only go halfway, which go 3 minutes a second and are very nice shindlers. But it would have been better if I got to the ones that go way up to the top, which I think are 5 minutes a second. That would have been better, but nevertheless, it was still really good. I had defeated their security and managed to get to the main lifts in this tower. Some of these lifts are double deck lifts, and so far I've only ever been in double deck lifts when they're set up as a podium interchange system. These double deck lifts are set up as regular service lifts where the upper or lower car is allocated to you when you use the destination dispatch. So when going down, you are randomly given either the lowest floor, the ground floor, or the mezzanine floor, and then you either get the lower deck or upper deck depending on which floor you're allocated. So you can't guarantee you actually get a lift straight to a ground floor when you're leaving a building. But when you go into the building, since most people don't bother to go up the escalator to the mezzanine and everyone just enters on the ground floor, it kind of defeats the space saving system for the upwards journeys. And now go along to the main airport at Warsaw. Warsaw Chopina, or is that meant to be Chopin or some pronunciation? But I'm going to call it Chopina. And this airport is okay. Let's take a look at a lift. <laughs> and along to the Marriott Hotel here, which just has Gen 2's, ugh. <laughs> so then, back to the city centre and along to a Schindler Eurolift. Start with the F, but not the break. And now to a very, very posh first generation eco disc. And now along to a tall tower with fissing crops, but as this is a residential tower, the lifts are not actually that fast, they only go about 2 meters a second, which is very slow for a tall tower. Hundred meter, that's about hundred and ten meter tower. 
two metres second fissing crap. That's so disappointing. Oh. And now we go to the next building, which is the Soviet government building, which was given to the people of Poland by Soviet Russia as a gift, whether they like it or not. This building looks very, very posh inside and looks very government looking. I don't know what lifts here were originally. They were replaced in the 1980s with Otis. They've now been modernized and look like Otis 2000s, but they still have 80s Otis logic. So then, let's take a look around the upper floors of this building. It's very, very sort of government looking. It's very interesting. It's got Soviet light fixtures. It's a very unusual building. And now go along to the next shopping centre, which is Centrum Hand Lower. Side pull, which is how you've done the lift to look like that. This actually does look quite spectacular, but it's not I mean the side pull is kind of a big fat lift or whatever. Oh, it's time for that oil. I only just got to the top of it. You've got two tracks there, because the lift's side pulled hydraulic. There's the hydraulic there, so you can see it's side pulled in those two tracks. And that's very weird, because there's literally nothing else supporting it. And now go along to shopping centre next to it, which is Blue City. And this shopping centre is very nice. It's really posh and has a spectacular fountain in the middle.
And now to a very cheap and nasty train station lift. What a load of fucking shit this is. So then back to Modlin Airport, the horrible shithole Ryanair Airport in the middle of nowhere. So let's take a look around this airport and in this airport there is an eco disc. Thank <laughs> you. 